Welcome back everybody, I'm Marcia, you're watching The Urban Man. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. Um, I want to build her, I don't know if I'm going to finish her today, but we're going to try. Um, I'll edit and add little bits here and there. Uh, I think it's going to take me a while to build this. Um, we've got our just a little uh, sniffer cat here, just making sure there's no concealment being stored inside the package uh, but um yeah so we're gonna have to do a little unboxing check what's inside what comes inside and uh, i'm gonna assemble her and i'll add little bits of mine while i'm assembling it so you guys can see that and there's the other one uh she wants me to open the door so let's get down let's open up this box first she's comfortable there so my baby we're gonna have to move you and while we're moving her, just let me open the door here for the other room. There. Okay. So BB, momentum. Okay, you can see it's still all nicely sealed here. I'm gonna grab uh I'm gonna grab the camera and bring it up here just so you guys can see then what's inside here. Um so when I do that, the camera might shake a little bit. So please excuse that. But I just want to show you guys when you open up the box, what it looks like. Um, try not to shake the camera as much as possible. But you guys are going to see this as I open it. And what we see inside. That's, yeah, that's it. Got to open. Great little knife here. Okay, let's try and do this without too much shaking. All right, let's open her up. So obviously externally you just get a plain cardboard box. Open her up. <laughs> we've got this nice, really packaged well. Uh, we've got this nice foam board here. Let's lift that up. Really impressed with the way this is packaged. And this is what we greet it to. So you can see here I've got the manual. Here it looks like the bed. Yeah, it looks like the bed. You can see some of the frame parts here. I don't know all the terminology and that for all of these things, but there looks like the power supply here. Uh, and uh, something over here. Nice little sticker there just saying okay. Obviously, the person that packed this just giving the okay signal. But I'm really loving the way that they this thing came shipped really excellent. All right, let me put down the camera and start getting the some of these items out of the box here. Let's just put that on the floor there. Instruction manual put that down there. Let's make some space over here. I'll assemble, or I'll take whatever I can out here. I'm just not sure how I need to lift all these things. I don't want to damage anything, but let's see, the things are nice and secured in here. Yeah. That's the screen. Comes in this like so uh, like anti-static. Screen. This nice anti-static protective plastic. Uh, you know what? Let's just put that down there. Out of the packet. Don't think we need to put it back in the packet. Chuck that on the floor. I'll worry about all those little bits later on. Busy getting out the PSU here, power supply. These things are fit really nice and snug. I, I really, I'm really happy about the way this is packaged. You know, that's the worst thing. You know, when you unbox something and there's something inside that's damaged or whatever. So here we go. There's a, there's a power supply. Let's put that down. 
put that there. That's that there. Let's grab this, this part of the frame. Put that one aside. What else do we have that we can remove? That we need to remove. Okay. Is the that feeds the filament through into the like I said, I don't know all I don't know all this terminology stuff. Sorry, my head is probably chopped off a bit, yeah. I don't know all the correct terminology, but this is a feeder um that feeder drive, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that feeds the filament into the hot end into the nozzle. there for now i'm just basically taking everything out and then gonna look at the manual okay that just pops out okay well let me show this quickly to you guys so that's the bed section let me get, grab that out so i just want to grab this here Sorry, I'm just doing this a bit careful um, because I'm not used to all these parts. I don't know how fragile or what have you. There's the bed. I'm going to lift the camera now and just bring you close to the bed and then I just want to show you. So I've removed the one layer here of this polystyrene or foam. Not polystyrene, it's foam. Let's grab this camera up here again. So let me just show you the bed here quickly. So we'll look at that a bit later. So then underneath that foam section, we have yeah, another foam section with some more goodies. There's a power cord. There's another frame here, some brackets. Uh, there's some filament. Apparently the filament that comes with it is junk. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be, I don't think we're going to be using that. I actually got some filament, uh, some new decent stuff. Uh, I don't know what that stuff is. And here yeah, looks like some tools. The scraper. That, I think that's for the filament, for the roll. And yeah, there's some tools and stuff. Some more bags of tools, whatever have you. I'll open that up now. And there's a... I think you call it a motor um oh, i don't even know i think you call it a little motor i don't know <laughs> this is all new to me this is all new to me this, uh, please guys if you are uh, let me just get this into the angle that i want if this is your first time watching this channel uh i am not amazingly experienced with everything especially now this this is all new to me so you can look at this as a newbie into the world of 3d printing what to what you can expect being a noob um, getting into 3d printing your like this is my experience with this for the first time so this is the approach that if you're watching this to take so please don't think this is a professional video with uh, someone who's seasoned in 3d printing and all of that sort of stuff um, if that's the sort of video that you want to watch, I would suggest you look for another video right now. Uh, be straight up front with you guys. This is a noob's take on 3D printing. So let's just get that out of the way before you guys carry on any further and think like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> right? Cool. So that's that. I'm going to actually put this box down quickly just so that I have a bit more space on my table here. And then I'm going to offload all the other parts onto the table so there's some more brackets over there i just want to have everything here laid out so that um know what's what it's easier to allocate and say okay this is this and some brackets there's some bearings inside there so that's obviously to turn something something okay we've gone through this i'm not gonna bore you guys all that nonsense grab that so what's nice is i had actually seen in other videos is that um 
if you didn't see that um, they actually give you some tools to build this kit apparently uh, with the tools they supply you can build this whole um, ender 3d pro printer you don't need to use any of your own tools that's what i've heard so that's quite nice i see there's some tools here uh, obviously it's not going to be the best quality tool so if you do have your own you might want to use them it might make life easier because obviously i can see here it's like a little tiny screwdriver let me just pop that out for you guys to see uh, take this little baggie out of so there's this tiny little screwdriver in here so you might want to use your own screwdriver because obviously holding this is not going to be the most comfortable it's not going to be the best quality tool but what's quite nice is you know you can keep this with your printer so whenever you need to adjust something or tweak something you've got a little box of tools that you can keep with you some of these tools that you can keep with you to do when you want to tinker a little bit so that's quite cool let's grab these things out and then yeah pretty cool stuff man pretty cool stuff man all right and that's the box empty got nothing left in here all right so i'm gonna just chuck all these foam things back inside here and then we're gonna just have a quick look at the manual just so you guys can see what the manual sort of looks like all right there's the manual let's get this open now uh okay there's just a little qualified certificate whatever that is and uh this is secretly crazy dear friends thanks for your order sorry let me get that in focus a little bit thanks for your order thanks for support thanks for your chance to get thanks for the chance to get your advice okay this is obviously a little bit of shinglish <laughs> crazy 3d is one well-known company and specializing in R and D, manufacturing and sales of 3D printers. Our printers are sold all over the world and get high praise from customers, from consumers. Sorry, in order to get the ultimate quality, uh, ultimate quality, develop better printers and better serve for you. We hope to get your advice. Welcome you contact at any time. We will do our best for you. Happy printing. Thank you. Best regards. Crazy 3D printing after sales service team. So oh, just a little thank you letter for buying it, whatever. And then uh, after sales service card. Still got a QR scanner code thingy there. So I probably can like register it or something. I assume. Um, yeah, put that one side. And this is the instruction booklet. As I said, this is all new to me. So let's just. I'm just gonna page it all up. So okay so i'm just gonna start here list one so obviously that just shows you uh the parts that come inside the package over there and it's all labeled one i just want to see where okay it's labeled one to 14 but that's obviously just for your building reasons it doesn't actually tell you doesn't show you what it's called over there so then from there then it's got some more parts over there that's the frames and all of that and the belt and the tools over there then step one that's obviously the building tutorial for the frame looks like it um, then step two some that's for your PSU I see P, uh, to bolt on your PSU and to bolt on your LCD screen there then moving over to step three there uh, there's some form, sort of bracket over there just showing you how to mount it correctly and how not to mount it. And then moving on to step four, that's to put the motor on, I assume. Sorry, like I said, excuse my terminology. Um, obviously, uh, let me, I just want to see if it says on here what, uh, what it's called. I know what it's called. I'd read what it's called. But, you know, when you're freaking doing these videos, you, sometimes your mind just goes freaking blank. And there's my cat. She wants to jump in front of her thing okay then moving over to the back um that's the y-axis uh, just showing you which i assume to tighten the motor what bolts to use over there step six some more brackets and then step seven so step eight so it's nice and uh 
it's nice and colorful uh, it looks fairly simple to build this uh, I've heard it can take about an hour or so to build it step 11 and then step 12 you should be done by around about step 12 um, so yeah this is probably why I think it looks like wire connections where to connect what that sort of thing so uh, yeah yeah that looks awesome cool uh, what I'm gonna do let me turn this camera face myself turn face myself let me move a bit back so you can see me sorry the cat was sitting on the other chair that's why I had to sit on this one so what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna end this video yeah so we're gonna just call this an unboxing of the Ender 3d Pro uh, we're gonna cut the video here and uh, this will be one part of the video then I'll do another part where I'll have little bits of me assembling the whole 3d printer and you guys can watch that in a separate video I think this is gonna be extremely long you know this whole unboxing and I'm showing you uh, it's quite in detail actually but uh, that's I, I, I hate having like these 20 minute long videos that sort of thing uh, I always usually try and keep it around 10 15 minutes 15 minutes like really pushing I've had longer videos I won't lie <laughs> but I always try and keep it as short as simple just to keep you guys entertained so uh, we're going to end this here and then I'm going to have a separate part of this whole uh, journey of mine uh, where we'll assemble it anyways guys I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed this um, if you thought this video was stupid sorry for you I enjoyed it I was unboxing my printer and I'll see you guys soon um, leave comments down below if uh, you guys want to find out anything specific uh, like I said I'm new to this so I don't know but I can always look it up and tell you what part came inside the package or whatever if there's you want to know maybe this is a new model that comes with something specific uh, anyways yeah just let me know if you want to find out something and I will try and find it out for you Cheers guys, thanks for watching, see you very soon, bye for now.